Flow rate through certain boundaries of the computational domain is often a vital information that we can get from a CFD simulation. These and other values computed based on available flow field quantities can be easily calculated in SimFlow. If the simulation is finished and we want to calculate flow rate through the inlet or outlet of the catalytic converter, we should go to the Calculate panel and move to the Boundary tab. We will calculate flow rate through the inlet boundary by integrating mass flux over the boundary. Therefore, we should choose the outlet boundary from the list and then use the field phi, which represents mass flux. The flux value tells us how much fluid per square meter flows through the boundary per second. Originally, mass flux is expressed in kilograms per second per square meter, and this is the case if we use one of the compressible flow solvers available in SimFlow. However, incompressible flow solvers use mass flux divided by density, or in other words, volumetric flux instead of mass flux. It means that for these solvers, flux reported in SimFlow is expressed in cubic meters per second per square meter. So, now we have to integrate the flux over the outlet boundary. If we choose Integral from the drop-down list and click Calculate, we will see the result in the console here. Total area of the outlet boundary is also reported here. Just to make sure that the simulation is converged, we can also check flow rate through the inlet boundary. Flow rate through this boundary is the same as through the outlet boundary. In this panel, we can also calculate the average values on selected boundaries. For example, we can calculate the average pressure on the wall of the catalytic converter. If we click the Calculate button, the result will be shown here in the console. If we move to the Wall tab, we can calculate values characteristic for walls. For example, if we use the turbulence model in the simulation, we can calculate a non-dimensional wall distance, y+. And in this case, we can also calculate wall shear stresses. But because in this simulation energy equation wasn't solved, the calculation of the heat flux through the wall is not available to us. The fields calculated here can be also displayed in Paraview at a later stage. The same applies to the characteristic fields that can be calculated in the Fields tab. For example, we can calculate vorticity field for demonstration purposes. Now, if we want to visualize these fields, we should go to the post-processing panel and start Paraview. Once we click Apply to confirm the default settings, we should click the Last Frame button so that we are post-processing the latest available set of results. By choosing different fields from the drop-down list, we can easily display contour maps of these fields on the catalytic converter. For example, now we can see the pressure field, but we can also display vorticity, wall shear stress, or y plus values, all previously calculated in SimFlow. Moreover, Paraview gives us the possibility to perform mathematical operations, and we can use this functionality to calculate flow rate through a boundary just to double-check the value reported in SimFlow. In order to calculate the flow rate through the inlet boundary, we should uncheck Internal Mesh and select Inlet in the table on the left-hand side, and next click Apply. Only inlet boundary will be displayed in the graphics window. Similarly to what we have done in SimFlow, we will calculate integral over the boundary. So let's go to Filters, Alphabetical, and click Integrate Variables. Another feature will be added to the pipeline browser. And if we click Apply, a window containing the results will appear. In this case, the flow rate has been calculated by integrating velocity over the inlet boundary, and the result is shown in the table. And it's almost identical to the flow rate calculated in SimFlow.